Hey, Simmerval here. Lab caches, GSAC, and CTO. That next on Geocaching with Simmerval. <laughs> Alright, so London Westy and Dougie B did a little thing on the weekend about uh, using uh, Lab2 GPX file and I asked them if they, they uh, ever used GSAC. Uh, and they're both this, oh, I've looked at GSAC and it's uh, a little too complicated. Uh, so I told him, I was like, well, GSAC's not really that complicated, so let's uh, see what we can do here. So here's my GSAC, and right now you see a list of caches. So these are all my finds and my own caches. So it's just a list of caches. Where the magic happens is if you use the uh, macros. So there's all kinds of macros that you can download from the macro index. And I use that mainly to create my stats. But in the old days before Project GSC, that's basically the only way you could make your stats. And you could do challenge check for challenges. But every information about a geocache is saved online on in the database so you can sort and pull out any information from all the caches that are in the list here and there's a, a pocket queries you can download directly into here and like I have a pocket query query of all the caches in Ontario so I can do searches on any cache that's in Ontario but today we're focusing on lab caches so I've made up a database just for caches, adventure labs in London. And as you can see, there's nothing here yet. <laughs> so, what I need to do is go to geocaching.com and click on a cache in London. And we're just going to pick one random cache here and open it up. And this is just to get uh, the location into the database. So I'm going to download the GPX file. should pop up any second here and boom I've downloaded that cache from London in the uh, to my uh, GSAC database so it's not a lab cache but there's a macro called adventure lab creates so we just run that It'll look for this location and bring me up all the labs in that location. So here I can set the prefix. Uh, if I want to add a found, la found log to it, I can put the found log in it and then Here's the list of all the caches. So we'll start off with uh, the first one on the list is a tree trunk adventure lab. And I've done that one. So we don't want to do that one. We want to go to the next one. So confirm. Just takes a minute to download here. Let's 
sometimes you gotta go up and go back in. So there's the the labs for that first section. So now we're gonna run it again. And we want to add a lot of names. And it recognizes automatically as a lab cache symbol here. And we just gotta go back out. And there's the new five. Now, it's just listing, it's in a search field, so it's only listing the ones that, uh, as a result of the last one. But if I click on the database again, it will give me all of the lists here. And as you've seen, I made this mistake and marked them as found, which we don't want to do. <laughs> So I'm just going to get rid of these. rid of the, uh, the cache that we started off with because we don't need it. Once we have something in London, we can just go off the lab instead of having to go off the original cache that we used. Alright, so let's try running that again. Take off the found log and we got the haunted scrolls, so we're going to go along the things. And it popped up. So now we have two labs loaded. So we'll run it one more time for another lab. Take off. And how about off leash dog parks? Let's load those up. refresh the, the list. So we can keep going on uh, and adding all the labs that are in London, but uh, just for purpose of showing, we'll show you what you do next. So we can go to File and Export to a GPX file. Pick a spot to file, and we're going to save this to my Dropbox file. And we're going to call this London Labs GPX. Okay, so we have all these GPX files now in our lab caches in a GPX file. So, and save to my Dropbox, which has audibly uh, been uploaded to the net. 
So now I'm going to go to my phone and I have CTO loaded here. So I've created a bookmark called London Labs here. And we're going to go import GPX file. And these are GPX files on my phone, but we can now I forget how to do it. <laughs> uh, slide over here. Then we can click on the three bars and we can pick Dropbox or my Google Drive or Local Drive or whatever. And we should have something called London Labs GPX. And they all show up as a red dot. So we can map these. They show up on my CGO where I want all the different locations. If we go into one of the locations, we have the whole story here. And the bonus is it gives you the question ahead of time. So you have a little idea before you even get there what you have to answer. <laughs> and that's about it. So going back to uh, CGO, you can also load these up in an offline browser. gives you all the information of the uh, lab cache as well and including the question <laughs> so that's pretty much it for uh, how to get your lab caches into CGO um, shows you every stage and you can uh, just have them pop up I uh, drive around with CGO open all the time, so half the time I'm driving by these uh, places and never think to open up the Adventure Lab. So this time, when I'm driving by, that'll be up on my live map, and hey, I could do this stage of the lab cache and move on. So, till next time, cache later, cache on the trails.